Hi, this video is about uh, the VNAV function on the uh, Garmin ERA. Uh, we currently have a, um, a Garmin ERA 560 with us right here. And I do know that the video is poor quality. I do know that. So um, I'm going to make an effort to try to get a different camera in and uh, run this same type of simulation so that you can see the VNAV function on the Garmin ERA. So what I have is, um, I have it indoors obviously, it's not, not an airplane, and uh, I have a simulator. I have it on simulation mode, excuse me. And um, I have an active flight plan in the Garmin Arrow from Winston-Salem, North Carolina to uh, Causey. So that's uh, Kilo India no November Tango to um, 2 Alpha 5 for your um, your waypoints and um, I currently have all that in there and I know it's very difficult to read the screen so um, it's actually in the middle of the flight plan right now and so we're, we're going to take a look at this VNAV function vertical navigation uh, what you'll see is the vertical navigation function you'll see a CDI on the HSI on the HSI uh, panel. So um, let's go ahead and show you what's going on. So um, I'm going to show you the tools function under the GP. Uh, excuse me, the active flight plan. Yes, of course. Um, it's from Winston-Salem to 2 Alpha 5, and I know that's hard to read. And just to give you a quick glance at the map, it's actually in the middle of it. I've got it set up for 160 knots at 6,500 feet. So the airplane thinks it's at 6,500 feet at for 160 knots ground speed. And it looks like we have 20 nautical miles left. So I press the VNAV function under the Tools menu, hit the down arrow, and you can see right here, it's very difficult to see, it says estimated time to VNAV. What that means is estimated time to the vertical navigation profile. What you do is you set up a profile under this page that, I, that, that we're currently on right here and um, I know it's difficult to read but on the top of the screen it says altitude 1000 feet above waypoint and the next uh, row is by and I know that's difficult to read it says 3.0 nautical miles before your uh, destination or your uh, waypoint and uh, I know it's uh, I went fast on this screen, but the, if you hit the page up button, the, the prior row is um, your descent rate. And I've got it set up for a thousand feet per minute. So this, and it's really easy to set up. It's, it's set up by default at a 500 feet per minute, a uh, thousand feet above your waypoint, about three nautical miles before. And I, ch I just, when I ran a few simulations, uh, you know, you start at 6,500 feet, you're starting to descend 20 miles out. So um, I felt like that was a little too early at 20 miles out for 6,500 feet. So I set it up for 1,000 feet per minute descent and ran a, a couple of simulations. And that was a little, little more on. I think it was like 11 miles out. You start descending from 6,500 feet down. And 2 alpha 5, I believe, is 723 feet above sea level. So your pattern altitude is going to be, you know, 17, uh, 17 23 feet um, altitude. So, to, you know, you're going from 6,500 down to 1,700. You know, that's what, 4,500 feet, 4,800 feet, something like that. You know, I don't think you need to be descending 4,800 feet 20 miles out. Just, 
anyways so this is a cool little function and I want to give you guys a, um, a showing of how this works on the Garmin Arrow so uh, I exit out of here and I'm going to show you again uh, the profile again the waypoints 2 alpha 5 that were and the profile it says that that road profile that's a thousand feet per minute FPM altitude a thousand feet above waypoint about three three nautical miles before the waypoint so so you'll be at pattern altitude three miles out it's a cool little you know VFR function So uh, when you go to the HSI page, this is your HSI page, which is on almost all, on all of your Garmin products, your uh, portable products. You, prior to, um, you see right here, it says approaching VNAV profile is what that message says. And you have a turquoise CDI indicator on your uh, your HSI page and that's your course deviation um, indicator so it's real similar to glide slope it really is you know you just um, once that indicator gets centered up you know you just pull back power and nose it over and keep it keep it centered up and it should give you a thousand feet per minute descent down to a thousand feet above the ground or above the point which is 1700 feet and I know that's difficult to read but uh, looks like 16 miles out you're starting to yeah 16 miles out so about right there is where you'd want to keep it keep that that indicator you start nosing over now since we're running a simulation mode um, the simulator on on the era this is for like you know showroom showing stuff it's not going to nose the plane over it's, it's keeping it at 6500 feet which is what I got the simulator set at so um, it, it actually keeps going past the Vena the um, profile the vertical navigation profile and that's why you see it deviate to the lower half And so this is um, kind of just giving you a little indication of um, how this works. It's pretty neat. I haven't actually tried it in the plane. Most of the, I'm still doing a little bit of dual to get current again. And I just bought this recently, so I'm um, trying to check out all these little functions. And I did do some research. Um, the Garmin um, era, I believe all of them, all of the um, readings that I've had have all indicated WAS. So, you know, you're supposed to have three meter accuracy on this um, this profile. Now, God, you know, it, it clearly indicates in the in the manual that this is not to be used for IFR. So I guess you could uh, set up a profile, you know, and but good Lord knows I wouldn't want you to go through the uh, you know, clouds using this, but it's a cool little tool. Uh, sometimes, you know, when I'm out flying, because I'm, I'm pretty low time, um, uh, knowing when to descend, how much prior to the airport, when to descend. Um, that's always nice to know. So if you, you can kind of use this little tool to... Um, help you out, help some of the VFR guys out, or maybe if you're looking into the Garmin Era, and you know this is one of those functions that might push you over the edge. I, I, this is the 560 model. Um, it does update five times a second, and all the all the um, gauges are pretty fluid; they're not choppy. So, anyways, hope you liked the video, and um, thanks for watching.